Okay, it's been a couple months since I started this video, but I wanted to finish it today since I had the chance. One I have is an RGB modded top loader. This is the RGB PPU, the NCS2553 amplifier. And I've put a multi out connector on it. And <clears throat> basically, the problem is sometimes the power pack doesn't work with the top loader. And the problematic chip is the 373 chip. It's right here. I've already taken this one out and soldered in some sockets so I can show you a few different chips here. This is the original Motorola 74LS373N. When I turn it on, you'll see it just completely fails. It just does not work at all. So if I take it out, I'm going to try a, the NXP 74HCT 373N. Okay, this is what I was getting earlier. I, that first mumble jumbo didn't happen the first time. But what you start seeing is the static on the screen. It's not there all the time. <clears throat> and when I first originally did this video, I thought I was having SRAM problems. It might be hard to see on the video camera. If you kind of look at the stars. See kind of a... It's almost like an echo of the original star. As the game goes on, that just gets worse and worse and worse. If you can see that right up there. kind of a, a bar that's not supposed to be there almost every star is starting to echo now now yeah like I said originally I thought this was an SRAM problem on one of the uh, the first RGB modded top loaders I did but I later found out it's that 373 I'm assuming because it's an HCT So I went back and I replaced it with the Texas Instruments 74HC373N. And it doesn't matter how long I play this. I will not get any graphical glitches. Yeah, I know what that is. I don't have the heat sink. 
on the 7805 brown out. Didn't hurt it. That's 7805s are designed to shut down when they're too hot. So anyway, there you go. You want to be sure to be sure that the power pack works correctly on the top loader. You got to have that correct uh, 373 chip in there.